The senior correspondent John Miller is a former assistant director of the FBI and a former deputy commissioner of the New York City Police Department. He's in our Dallas bureau tonight. So, John, some context here, just how serious and how dangerous is this really? Well, there's no doubt that ricin is dangerous. Even if it's ingested in small amounts, it can be deadly. But let's frame the real threat here. What you're seeing here is basically the mashed up insides of castor beans, either into a paste or if it's dried out in a granular form, uh, like salt. What you're not seeing is what we saw in the anthrax attacks, where even before you open the envelope, spores are coming out, contaminating the area and releasing possibly deadly toxins. So. To frame this, it's not as dangerous as what we've seen before. And John, after seeing a series of these, what might we expect next? Well, Maurice, that's a complicated question because the people who are sending these letters with, with rice and like substances in them are doing it for two purposes. One, to threaten and intimidate the person it's addressed to, in this case, Mayor Bloomberg, the president, members of Congress. Uh, but the other is to get publicity and to do that for their cause. So what you're going to see is a serious discussion between authorities, but also within our own newsrooms, because the more attention these get, that usually means the more of these incidents we're going to see in the future. Uh, and the discussion will have to be about how much attention we really want to give to these stories. Okay, John Miller, thank you tonight.